fuck the human human millipede will. Absolutely. <laughs> That's not how it works, motherfucker. I gave you an ultimatum. I said you don't stop talking shit about me. I'ma start stripping. Are you trying yes. to get us killed any... or rape? Yes. Why heroin? <laughs> yes or no, Will? Are you I... going to deny the people their right to recreational heroin abuse? Hello, oh, oh, and welcome to another edition of my Fruitless Envy Escapism into Computerized Media. I am your host, Disco Blood Party, and today we have a tiny short boy stream. It's game night with my dude Keegan K Dog, Big Papa K Dizzle, my big sexy bearded man mountain of a friend. But I gotta wait for him to get out of work. And, uh, I just got off of work. So I'm just gonna stream a wee bit, uh, to let the, uh, people who do follow me and have been supporting me so they know that I am committed to trying to stream as frequently as possible. So in this little hour and a half uh, I might have before I get a message from Keeg. I'm just gonna do a little PTCGO for you dudes. Just a tiny bit. Just a wee bit. Just give you a little, a little shot. A disco blood party for the night. And today I am drinking uh, Dead Guy Ale Rogue. It is apparently a malty and bitter beer with uh, uh, hints of toffee in it, which sounds delightful. I'm going to open that up awkwardly close to the mic to force all of you to hear me open my beverage and pour it into my beer drinking glass, as I have done every stream on this channel and probably will continue to do so. Because god damn it, I'm playing games, I want to have a beer. <laughs> it's not PTCGO if I don't have a beer with it, right? I have a feeling that is not a statement <laughs> that the Pokemon company would agree with. But it's a statement I'm gonna make, and I am doing another mirror match. Well, shit. I'll just be back, get two extra cards. Might be something good. Yeah, there we go. It was a good beer. Really foamy. As all good beer should be. It's definitely malty. It's super bitter. And it says right on the can that this is a bitter beer, but this beer is more bitter than I was prepared for. It's quite good though. I like bitter drinks, so that's okay. It's not a stout, but because of how bitter it is and how like malty it is and the hints of toffee, it, it does kinda, it does kinda taste a little bit like a stout. You know, it's definitely not. It's not a dark beer. It's it's a bright amber color, but it is a little stouty, a little stouty. Damage counters. I want you to get wrecked, Broski. Ba bam. Yes. Another Crobat. I'm gonna Pokemon Communications out of this Crobat because I can't draw with him yet. So instead, I'll get my Spiritomb out so I can start building that boy up. Because I, well, I wanna get him built up so that way I can get some good fucking cheeky KOs. And not, well, maybe not even cheeky KOs, maybe just like bringing dudes into range. You know, if I can't finish them off with fucking Eternatus. Which, if they get their Eternatus VMAX out, then I will not be able to finish them off with this dude. So it'd be nice to use my uh, hiding energy to switch out to uh, Spiritomb to finish them off with. If I can pull that off, who fucking knows? Might not pan out that way. I hope it does. We'll find out. Come on, lucky boys. Damn it. Alright, fair enough. There goes the hiding energy. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me pull up the Twitch chat on my phone in case any of you lovely humans want to communicate. But uh, thank you for tuning in. 
drinking my lovely adult beverage and playing children's card games while possibly inebriated. I'm not actually inebriated. I just started drinking a beer. This isn't like a super beer that gets you drunk from a drink. It's not like what I thought beer was when I was like fucking five. <laughs> When I was five, I legit thought if somebody, like, touched alcohol once, they immediately became an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, do I wanted to use that, uh, hoots, I'm not sure. Kinda would prefer him. Hey! The one viewer, the, the viewer is my lovely wife! Uh, the new beer tastes good. It's, uh, really bitter. Uh, it's a little malty, it's really foamy, it kinda has hints of toffee in it, which is a little weird. Uh, it tastes good, though. I enjoy it. Get my other boy out. To build more spites! Aggressively. And a Marnie... I did not get a switch. That is depressing. Hoots. What should I do here? Hmm. So if I use that, I can get the extra 270, but that's 280, so it's not. That extra 30 damage will make no difference. So I'm just gonna save that Crobat so I can use him to draw next turn. But, unfortunately, he can kill my turn and just be max here. Let's see. Next turn, he'll have 30 damage. So that'd be 3, 6, 9, 9, 10. That'd be 100. 100. So, if he kills him for 3 prizes, I could come in with my Spear Tomb and kill him for 3 prizes. There's that. And I got a Piers in my hand, so I'm guaranteed to be able to get another energy. I also got Viridian Forest. So there's... And I got a Turbo Patch. There's no way I won't have the energy next turn to kill him with Spirit Tomb. Uh, and then I could use that to save up on... Uh, or not save up, but uh, kill him while also getting time to set up my Eternatus Max. Which I might be able to set up next turn if I'm lucky with Turbo... Well, no, I can't get lucky with Turbo Patch. That's only basics. But... Either way, if he kills this dude, he's dead. If he doesn't kill this dude, he's dead. Unless he switches out. I doubt he's gonna switch out. He's probably just gonna... He's probably just gonna kill this for the three prizes. And risk getting killed. So, that's gonna... I will be ahead if he does that. In the end. Yeah. Then again, he'll then take another prize and leave him. So we'll end up evened out. We'll both be equally hurt by that decision. But I am closer to having an Eternatus VMAX set up than him, in my opinion. Damn, coin flip god's not on my side today. Uh, building spites. Crobit's time. Yes. Boop, 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 do. Uh, I'll put my Hoopa there. Uh, do I use that? No. I'm just gonna Marnie, because you have a fat ass hand! And I want you to have that fat ass hand. That'd be. <sighs> concerning for me. If I want to continue being alive. Ah, shit. Well, rest in peace. Alright. Dying time! Give me three prizes. I'll take three, which will bring me to two. Then he will kill me and be at two. So at this point, it's just about who gets their uh, other shit set up first. Because we're evening out now. Problem is, I was not able to really get my Eternatus any energy. Because I had to use my one attachment for Spirit Tomb, so I didn't get lucky with Turbo Patch. Now, Spirit Tomb is going to die. Uh, they'll have enough to do a hundred, but that's about it. That's not gonna be enough to get a KO. And now, how, 
way to get another energy on you. Those freaky boys. Oh, and he did get his Eternatus set up first. Ooh, what I should do is hopefully get an energy after I'm Marnie. Actually, I can use Viridian Forest to get the energy. Never mind. I can use Viridian Forest to get the energy. Attach it to Eternatus. Then I'm going to, after he kills him, I'm going to bring in this Spirit Tomb. And I'm going to do 100 damage with that Spirit Tomb to bring him down to 240. Which means if he kills that Spirit Tomb, it will allow me to bring in my Eternatus V Max, get it set up, and then finish him off. If he doesn't boss his orders out and kill something else. Uh, which is a dangerous move. But I think it's the smartest move. Because I'll bring this guy into killing range. For sure. Spite. Ah, uh, who am I putting here? I mean, that 10 damage, is that really going to matter? I don't think it will at all. And whatever, I'll put them there anyway. Just because, why not? Discard a great ball for a dark energy. Attach that bad boy. Now let's Marnie this shit. Can I get lucky with Turbo Patch? That is the question. Uh, damn it! God damn it! I'm usually really lucky with Turbo Patch. Not this game though. Here's the problem, I don't have a way to get another energy on him though, so I might lose here. Because I don't have a good way to get another energy on in time. So I might actually be fucked. Well, actually though, he can only do 270. If Even if he gets a full bench. Which will not be enough to kill my Eternatus VMAX. No matter what. And there is no way for him to artificially boost it high enough to do that. Um, there's cards to boost your attack output, but none of them are going to get it up to 340. At least not in standard. So, that means... Oh, he's switching! Alright, alright. You're running away. Alright. Evening it out is a smart move. Definitely the smart move there. But if I get a boss's orders, you might be fucked question is, I don't know if I can go boss's orders. I do have boss's orders. So next turn, no matter what you put in the active, he's dying. And I don't think you have any possible way. Any possible way to kill this guy. So, I, actually what he could do is he could just boss his orders out. He could just boss his orders out into my Zigzagoon and kill that, which is bad. But I can't really do anything to stop you. So, shit. He might win. If he boss uses boss's orders this turn and finds a way to switch out, he wins. Yep, yep, here it is. Here it is. He wins. Well played. Well played. Thank you. Glad the mic's sounding good. See if anyone accepted my trades. No one did. I'm hoping, now that Champion's Path is out, I plan to try to build a deck out of uh, Dreadnought V Max and Waylord. They're both big, beefy, tanky water Pokemon that are kind of coin flippy. Uh, so I feel you might as well play them together. I mean, it doesn't, they're different decks. So, I mean, I, I'm going to play them together, though. I'm going to, it's mostly going to be focused on Dreadnought V Max and just doing a lot of damage with Dreadnought, but I'm going to play some Waylord in there also for some extra bulk and basics. 
Ooh, he mulliganed in it, it did. Alright. Oh. The Dust Skull deck, alright. Fives that would give me a card. Which is a little bit, not a lot, but it's something. And I do need to hurry because I really don't want to let this deck get set up. Ah, I don't want to discard either of those, though. I might really need Piers next turn. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it because I really might need Piers next turn. Because I want to use Piers to get a Crobat, so I for sure have Draw. So. Hey! I win anyway. Alright, cool. Grand Champion! Almost got Ticket Boys. I'm gonna peek if anyone's trying to trade any Dreadnoughts. Any dreadnaws. Any dreadnaws. I spelt it right, right? Game? Oh my god. Yeah, I did. Game. You load the trades from the server. You load those trades. I need to be aware. There's any dreadnaws. I'm really not sure. I mean, he's. Cause here's the thing, I a long time ago I think I did play a game against somebody playing a deck with that Dust Skull, but I don't really remember what it does at all. Which is part of why I was worried. Cause I, it was a weird, there's a lot of weird single prize decks that are really gimmicky. And those I find very intimidating, because if they can get set up, they can be really fucky. And fuck you over, so... Game? Game, you're bothering me right now. I do also want to make a deck out of this Alchemy VMAX. It's not worth a Crobat. Definitely not worth a fucking Crobat. Um? Why can I ask you if you got boss orders? I don't know why you can ask you if you got boss orders. Um, if you're asking me if I have a boss's orders, yes, I do indeed have boss's orders. I think that's what you're asking me. I do indeed have boss's orders. If that is what you're asking, I'm not. I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm just genuinely confused a little bit on what you're asking. I think. You're asking me if I have boss's orders. Um, correct me if I am wrong. Actually, tell me whether I'm right or wrong regardless, because I'm actually genuinely curious. Oh! 
Oh, extra for trade! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, let me check. I, I know I did have some extra for trade. And I know I traded one of them away for sure. I don't know if I have any more extra. I'll have to check. If I do, I would definitely be open for trades. Uh, after this game, I could check. Hey! Welcome to the stream, man! We're, we're having, we're drinking beers and having card game cheers over here. It's a dandy day. It's a dandy day indeed. Uh, should I put that, uh, um, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna put that in my hand for next turn to draw with. That's risky, because he could totally just Marnie my hand and ruin it anyway, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, what am I thinking about? It depends which exact second you're referring to. I think about a lot of random shit. I'm... I overthink every move I make in this damn game all the time. And a lot of times when I make really dumb misplays, it's because I overthought a lot. <laughs> so... What I was thinking about there, I honestly don't even remember. <laughs> My fiance just calling me out for being a perv in the chat. <laughs> I'm getting got right now. I, I, I didn't I didn't know this was turning into the roast disco chat. <laughs> I guess it is. Ah shit! I'm finding his mad party. All right, this could, this could escalate quickly. Mad Party is a really cool ass deck. Ha! <laughs> uh, I'm not rich. I, j I mean, okay. I played <laughs> this. I mean, okay. I'm rich enough to have a turn to this. Essentially, I just work a lot, a lot. I just spend an outrageous amount of time at work. And get a lot of overtime. And I use the outrageous amount of hours I work to support my addiction to Pokemon cards. So I could drink beers and play Eternatus. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, you're probably really fucking speaking for this poor soul who has to wait for me to fucking stall all the time. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it doesn't matter if I'm streaming or not. The ability for me to actually genuinely shut up, that that's not a thing. I, I can't, I, I do not possess the am ability to shut up. I talk way too much about everything all the time. <laughs> Regardless of whether I know anything about it or not. <laughs> God damn, this is the fucking roasting me chat, holy shit. The last fucking stream, I had dudes asking for my life story, and this stream, motherfuckers are just roasting me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how much money went into this deck. I do know it's definitely probably more than I should have spent on fucking Pokemon cards, I'm sure. Cause I do buy a lot of I did buy a lot of fucking booster packs for this set and I didn't make a lot of obnoxious trades. Some trades that were definitely not fucking worth it. The fucking Crobat, actually. Cause I got one Crobat from Booster Pack. The rest of the Crobats I got from this fucking dude on eBay. <laughs> I'm sorry you hate me! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> if you keep hating me, I'll start drinking heavily. By drinking heavily, I mean I'll continue to drink the exact same beer I've been drinking anyway. <laughs> uh, th except this time I'll just blame you for it arbitrarily. <laughs> oh, Christ. Ah, uh, hoot. Uh, I'll discard Marnie. I have a lot of fucking Marnie. So I can get a Crobat to draw with. I hope you lose. I probably will. 
I probably will. I'm really distracted tonight. I probably will, if I'm being honest. I lose a lot because I'm kind of stupid, and I get distracted talking about inane bullshit. <laughs> Not sure treat to you. Protect my boy. Actually, I'll boss his orders here to Dene. Hope I can keep getting the active. Um, actually I have four cro I have four copies of Crobat. Actually no, I have five copies of Crobat. <laughs> I I just have an extra Crobat. <laughs> <laughs> I have five Eternatus V, five Eternatus V Maxes, and five Crobat. Two of the Eternatus V and V Maxes are alternate art. Um, I'm positive you're probably not happy about that. Uh, are you, do you want? Uh, <laughs> would you like me? No! <laughs> Don't! Would you like to trade me something for a Crobat? I have an extra one, so I can trade it for stuff I want. Like, if you have something I want, I will trade you a crowbat. <laughs> uh, I'm getting- I'm- You're roasting me so hard right now, I don't even know if it's facetious anymore, I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> had ice cream. I don't have any ice cream in my apartment. I usually don't. I mean, I could buy. I could probably get you an ice. I don't know how. I don't know how I would get you an ice cream. Is the problem here? I don't know how I would how to go about getting you ice cream. Like, unless you live in Michigan, I don't really know how I'm gonna. I can't really like shove ice cream in an envelope and mail it to. I mean, I guess I could, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling if they saw the fucking soggy ass fucking ice cream in a bag. Ah shit, what do I even do here? Ah, uh, hoot. I don't like any of these. Ah, uh, fuck. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just chuck it on the sky so I can get... I'll get a, I'll get my Hoopa out. DoorDash the ice cream shit! I guess that is a feasible thing. I just fucking like DoorDash ice cream. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Come on, coin flip gods! Yes! Grand champion. Failing my ass out. <laughs> hell yeah, Batman, hell yeah. <laughs> I do really Speaking of DoorDash I do really want to order food I'm fucking hungry I was going Ah I do not have ADP I, I do not have ADP That is the thing I do not have Hey Grand champion <laughs> Hell yeah. But no, I do I do not have I do not have ADP. I like how you keep dissing me, calling me rich kid. Like I didn't fucking work like eighty hours a week to fucking have money. <laughs> I was a fucking <laughs> sad little pity orphan kid that was tossed home to home. I fucking moved out when I was 18 and I just fucking bust my ass working obnoxiously. Oh shit! Fuck. Hold on. I, 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 let me, I'm gonna concede from this and then I'll do that. Cause I legit told you I would do that before I started a game. And I didn't do that. So let me fucking back out of here. I'm sorry. I have extreme tunnel vision. All right, let me fucking go to my collection, boys. Boss, 
Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I only have exactly four. I mean, kind of. I'm at least a solid. I'm at least a solid 50% stupid. That, that that's why that's why I drink beer during stream, so that way I can pretend it's because I'm drunk and not just because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I do have a hamster. I have a hamster named Shibata, and he is this. Fucking like super fluffy Syrian hamster who is like super strong and he like he used to throw his food bowls so I had to give him a very heavy Heavy food bowl that he couldn't throw you need four so I can give you four <laughs> Oh shit Here here's here's random shit. I am own Does this doing anything for you D do you like is this is this what you want is this what you want Sam? Am I making you happy yet? <laughs> Is this good content? <laughs> Here, here's my... Here, I'll prove I don't have ADP for you. I'll go to my Pokemon GX. I barely have any Pokemon GX now, because a lot of them I traded in attempting to get a lot more V. But, uh, there's my collection of... GX's... And here's my- God damn it! <laughs> I like how I pulled that up to show you I didn't have too much shit that you fucking told me to fuck off anyway. Uh, here's the Pokemon V I own. Let me get to the beginning. Uh, I got this shit. Uh, I had more than I thought, but... I'm sorry, Seb. I'm sorry. Go bit aside. <laughs> Just hyper. I don't know what you mean by hyper. Are you talking about like me as a human, as a homo sapien? Secret rare five crowbat. <laughs> uh, crowbat's me boy, I guess. I'm using four crowbat for Eternatus. <laughs> So that way I consistently have good draw for more Pokemon. Oh, five Crobat. Um, the extra Crobat hypers the rainbow. Oh, okay, okay. That's what you meant. Okay, my bad. Sorry. I'm... To, in my defense, I wasn't special ed all through high school. <laughs> God damn it, fuck you. <laughs> you fucking cheeky bastard. God damn it. Uh. Do you have a- what would you like me to play then? Would you like fearsome rectangles? I'm sorry that when I call a rainbow rare a rainbow rare, I'm calling it by what the fucking card is called! Hey, I'm a fucking your player cause I called the rainbow thing a rainbow! Oh, woe is me! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> now, uh, I have the I have the fifth. I'm using the fifth Crobat to trade for other shit. I don't need it. I want to get rid of it, but I want to get rid of it for a thing I can use later. So that way, I don't have to buy a fucking billion booster packs to get shit I want. <laughs> God damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Ooh, Stone Turner. Uh. Yeah, I'll just get Crobat. I got like four, so. Hey, hell yeah! I'm sorry you have to go, dude. I hope uh, you have a good one. Uh, I I know you're joking. I thought you were very funny. You brought me all of the joy, and I hope you have a delightful day. I appreciate appreciate the follow. Yeah, see ya, my dude, my human. My fellow associate.
And with that, I am about to finish my beer. Beer has since concluded. Hey, Crazy Jack, my dude! You just missed me getting roasted for a fucking half hour. I don't know if you could uh, see uh, the chat history because you just came in, but fucking <laughs> Sam was just roasting my ass in the chat this whole time. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was it was fucking dope. Uh, who? Uh, I'm just gonna Marnie because you have a fat hand. But no, Sam was fucking roasting me. He was calling me a fucking rich kid. He was calling me stupid. It was it was genuinely really funny. Oh yeah, and my wife. Uh, that Axel Fire in the chat. That's uh, my lovely fiance, and she was also fucking roasting my ass. <laughs> I'm getting. I, I was. It was a 100% chat of just. Me getting roasted. In my own goddamn live stream. It's fucking funny though. But yeah, I planned for this to be a wee bit of a short stream. Uh, I have a game night with my dude Keegan, K Dog, Big Papa K Dizzle, my big sexy beard mountain. Okay? This fucking the eternal sunset. This that glorious human him. Uh, we have a game night, so uh, I'm going to play until he tells me he is ready to play Ark with me. Um, he works until six o'clock my time, which is in a half hour. But then he usually takes a while to get home, and then he has to cook and shower and eat and you know normal humaning bullshit. So how long I stream depends how long it takes his ass to get ready and. Give me attention. Uh, which is funny because actually if he takes long enough, it's entirely possible that despite naming this a short boy stream, it might end up being the length of most of my other streams. Oh my god, if this stream ends up actually, like, really long, this title is going to be funny. If this stream ends up long, I'm not fucking changing it. I am keeping it called the short boy stream if that happens. I don't even, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's funnier that way. By the way, thanks again. <laughs> Keegan is not my side dude. He is incredibly straight. But, uh... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Fuck. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> Help, I'm being bullied. My fiance is bullying me in my live stream. I'm calling the police. God damn it. Well played. Well played. Ah! God damn it! Fuck you! <laughs> uh, I mean, I've fucked dudes before. My penis has been inside of rectums of men before, but not Keegan's. Alright, I'm gonna get a crowbat from this so I can draw and the hiding energy. That's not a hiding energy. I have fucked up. I have fucked up now. Whatever. That's not too bad because I can get that on my bench. Ah. Hoots. I don't want to leave you in the active and get murdered, so... I'm gonna sacrifice my Zigzagoon. I really don't want to leave him the active. <laughs> maybe the maybe the next stream. Maybe the next stream will be my title. My penis has been places, man. My penis has been places. Travels. Not anymore, though. It's a little hitched. At this point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a park now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Can I please get my VMAX? Thank God. I don't think it's enough to kill you, is it? It's not shit. Yeah, I lose. I lose. You don't need to play your Pokey Doll. You do 200. That's 400. You don't. You don't need to attach that energy. Why did you even attach that energy? I gained you nothing. Well played, though. Well played. Maybe that is a better way to play. Because the way I was playing, uh, the way I was playing Stone Journey, I was using a shit ton of Indeedee to heal. But maybe, uh, using a bunch of Poke Doll is a better idea. Because it is a slow fucking deck. Here, I'm gonna play Mothra's Secret Ska Band. This deck kind of sucks, because Butterfree V Max isn't very good. But, it looks cute, and it's a little fun, so I made a deck out of it anyway. But yeah, my friend Will... Who I do a podcast with, um, uh, we lost our V-cards to each other. So, if you ever tune into the Helen Hightails podcast, you can hear the voice of a man that my dick is penetrated. That's a quote for my, for my tombstone. Babe, my fiancé, love of my life, if you are still watching, put that on my tombstone. <laughs> ah, shit, I start with fucking Elder Goss, that sucks. Alright. Also, I'm going against a fire deck, so I basically just auto-lose. <laughs> so that sucks. I'm fighting J -J 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 Jarvis. Ah, shit. Yeah, I just lose. Because I was never able to actually obtain any, uh... I'm just gonna concede, fuck it. I was never able to uh, get any weakness guard energy. It's from trades. Just nobody would fucking trade me them. So, um, and I never got lucky with boosters. So, do not have any weakness guard energy for that boy. So, I just auto lose very bad. I see the emoji you posted, Crazy Jack, and I'm be honest, I've said so much stupid bullshit in the last two minutes, I don't even know what that's a response to at this point. I want to build a Dreadnought VMAX deck now that that's out. It's not super good, but I think it could be, it could be fun. Could be fun ski. Adding ski at the end of fun just makes it sound like I said funky. Which I suppose it could also be funky. That is also indeed a possibility. It's entirely possible. It's entirely in the realm of things that could happen. Which is essentially what I just said five different times. But you see, I'm like a solid 70% stupid. A lot of brain damage in this bad boy, okay? This bad boy can fit so much damn brain damage. Hey! Camper of Death! Welcome to the stream! Welcome to my fruitless Enwi escapism into computerized media. Um, I have a bad start for a mediocre deck against a fire deck. Oh shit! Camper of Death is your stream! Sorry, my bad. Thank you for welcoming me to your stream, Camper of Death. I'm glad I could be a part of it. Um, I'm about to get my I'm about to get my ass kicked because I'm playing a fucking grass deck that isn't very good in the first place against a fire deck. So I'm fucked right now. You see, I'm playing a Butterfree V Max. That's not a good deck. I don't I don't recommend anybody get super invested into trying to play that deck. It's fun though. If you want to play a deck that's not very good but is kind of fun. Yeah, go for it. Hey, we both do. All right. Yeah, I I think it's a fun deck. I like it. It's, it's not very good. Not very good. When I'm in the mood to win very consistently, though. Mostly because fire exists. Hey, camper of death. Um, I also don't have weakness guard energy, so I'm fucked right now. <laughs> I'm sure your setup is better, camper of death. This is not a very uh. I'm positive this is nowhere near the best 
of this deck. Sure, we can battle. Uh, if we battle, though, I'm telling you right now, I'm not using fucking Butterfree VMAX, though. I'm curious to see yours, though. Because if you have a Butterfree VMAX deck you have that's winning a lot, then that's really interesting because I would like to actually see one that's really good. Because... I don't want to do Butterfree versus Butterfree, though, because I'm not... I don't think mine's even good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. Uh, Camper of Death. Here's the thing. And honestly, if you're really adamant about it, sure, I'll battle you Butterfree versus Butterfree. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. One, I have already told you that I honestly don't think my version of this deck is that good. It's merely the version I play and that I have made that I had fun with. I'm not very confident that this is very good. Not at all. Not even a slight bit. You seem very confident in yours. And you've already said you have a better setup. So, you're probably right. Also, I've been drinking. That's not an excuse, because I haven't been drinking that much. But if I lose, I'm going to say it's because I was drinking. <laughs> not really. I don't like Butterfree when I'm on a diet, god damn it. I like Butterfree because it's cute and I used to sleep with a lot of men, so I like I like cute things. That joke would have been offensive if I wasn't bisexual, but I am, so I can get away with it. And because what I said is true. <laughs> But no, no. If you if you really if you really want to battle, sure, fuck it. I'll 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 battle you. Whatever. You'll probably win because this Butterfree V Max deck isn't very good. But fuck it. I have no qualms losing on stream. Um, flashy uh, uh, flashy JW is what my uh, in-game name is. You're play- oh shit, it's fucking... Trinity boys. The witch is in the way. That's a, that's some chibi art to me. That's some chibi art to me, man. I had uh, the artist uh, Yurusan from the UK. Uh, she uh, drew that for me for my... Uh, uh, back when I was still doing YouTube shit. But that's uh, it's a little cartoon chibi drawing of me in a little witch hat. Looking all cute. It's still in the way? I know it's in the way. I told you it's Flashy JW. Here, I'll move it. There. See, look. It's Flashy JW. Like I told you a little bit ago. And now I'm going to put it back in the way because it looks cute. Because it cost me a bunch of money. <laughs> I'm fully aware it's in the way. I have it there in all the videos. Did I get any comments on it? Uh, no, I haven't yet, actually. I'm glad you think it was awesome, though, man. I hope I have lots of awesome streams. This stream has been the goddamn roasting me stream. What was it? Uh, the stream I had before this one, it was, uh, I think it was like, it turned into his VMAX, eats, uh, fat wiener schnitzel daily and should feel bad about it. It was something like that for the name. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, it was a really fun stream. Uh, Crazy Jack kind of asked me, like, my life story. What was it? Flashy JW! Flashy JW! It is the word flashy, followed by the letter J, followed by the letter JW. Because, you see, my name is JW. And, and flashy is an adjective that describes me vaguely, sort of. You see, back when I was 11, I was, I, I was trying to make a username. Yes, Flashy JW. My fiance also posted in the chat. So if you have forgotten since I have last said it, it is now in the chat for my lovely fiance. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I thought it was a little clear. I'm not sure how it was not clear. At any point. Who's the witch? 
God damn it! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> the witch is chibi art of me that was drawn by the artist Yurusan from the UK. I had it commissioned. <laughs> oh lord. That uh, here I'll uh, you see th this is uh here I'll go to new scene. See there is me. Uh, looking dead. And then there is art of me in a witch hat and a Black Flag t-shirt. Black Flag is a hardcore punk band that I am fa fond of. There's a simple and minimalistic logo, so I thought it would would transfer well to such a minimalistic uh, art style. Hello, anybody who has came to the stream. I have been getting roasted by all these people in the chat for the last long period of time. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure what the dot 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 the dot the dots are for camper of death. Does it involve camping or death? Or me getting my ass kicked right now? God damn it! <laughs> you are trolling me so hardcore right now. <laughs> and I can't not walk into it. And you've learned that by this point. So you're gonna keep doing it. And I'm gonna tell myself, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not taking this bait, but I'm I'm gonna take the bait. I'm going to. I know I'm going to. This is how I am as a person. It's charge head first like a fucking sexy boar in the forest. Sometimes that gets you head first some awkward situations. Like one time, you know, I thought really all this stuff is gonna turn around for me in my life. And uh, I end up locked in the basement of this drag queen. A uh, retired drag queen. Wasn't really the best first date I've ever had. Uh, you see, I was looking for a date one day. And I was like, well shit, haven't had a lot of good luck at acquiring hot dudes to go on dates with since I moved to Michigan. So I just like, I think I literally looked up hot guys or cute guys or something on Facebook and I just sent a bunch of random friend requests to guys whose profile pictures looked vaguely cute. Uh, one of those dudes accepted. And I, I better lose, yeah, I, I, that was kind of hilarious. I deserve to lose there. I played shit that time. This isn't even a very good deck that I have built. It's not a very good version of a deck, and I don't think that deck is very good in the first place, but my version of it's not particularly great. And on top of that, I also kind of played really stupid. Alright. Got a thing. Requests from Ash. Approve. I have accepted your friend request, Ash. Here, here, Ash. I will, I will, I will give you the joy of kicking my ass with my shitty Butterfree deck. <laughs> I'm gonna la ah, goddamn! <laughs> Hold on, uh, hold on for real, or hold on that you just trolled me? Because I feel like this was just a long setup so you could decline it, so you could be like, haha, get got, bro. And if it is, then fucking, fucking kudos for you, because fucking master troll over here, honestly. <laughs> But no, uh, this Butterfree deck, I have essentially only ever lost with. It doesn't have a good win-loss record. Hold on. Does it tell me on the side here? Oh, okay. Alright. Mothra Secret Ska Bed. I'm gonna laugh so hard if you're not even playing a fucking Butterfree deck after all this. But no, I am curious on your deck, because my build's not super good. I like how you could totally see my hand this whole time, too, because you could just look at the stream. So you could just see my fucking hand this whole game. 
I, I'm not I'm not sure why my fiance just put uwu in the chat, but I'm physically impossible. So I, God damn it! <laughs> what you mean? God damn it! With how adamant you were about specifically fighting me with this butterfree deck, I feel like this is a fucking very obnoxious setup. I feel like I'm about to fuck. I feel like I'm getting set up very confidently in that. I'm very concerned. <laughs> Hello, anybody who has just joined the stream. Uh, Camper of Death in the chat. This lovely furry gentleman in the corner challenged me to a butterfree battle. <laughs> um, I have no confidence in my butterfree deck, which I said as I first played it in the stream. And he was very aggressive into coercing me into fighting him. Is this still? Uh, I thought this wasn't. Oh, I mean, you're, this is uh, expanded, isn't it? Ash's avatar is a furry. My fiance in the chat who said Uwu is also a furry, though. It is standard? I didn't know that deck was still in standard. I thought it wasn't. Huh, that's actually cool. No, I, I legit thought that rotated out. This is some cool information. Because I used to uh, play that card back with... Uh, uh, Celebi and Venusaur for a while. Uh, it didn't work super great with Celebi and Venusaur, but worked a little bit, a little bit, a little smidgen. Rematch after, sure, sure, why not? How dare I expose you, Blasnus, Blavu, babe, babe, love of my life. This isn't news. Also, I feel like if you post uwu in any chat, you're either confirming you're a furry or confirming you are aware of furries. And have looked into furries at a point. There's no there's no other way around it. But no, if, if I win, we could totally do a rematch regardless. I mean, regardless we can. Uh, you will probably win because pa playing Parasect is actually a lot smarter uh, to do more damage, for sure. Uh, I really like Appleton. I'm biased. Appleton is one of my favorite Pokemon from, uh, Sword and Shield. But, you probs got this. You'll probs win. Uh, if we do do a rematch, do you really want to do another Butterfree? Or, or can we just play any deck we want? Because I, I really... Really don't want to keep playing Butterfree the whole stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Alright, alright, can do a rematch after. Hell yeah. I like how I sa said we'll do a rematch after like ten times. Hi, mod in the chat! <laughs> yeah, that mod is literally just my fiance. She's lovely. <laughs> there you go, she said hi back. Behold her cuteness. Literally, the only reason I made her a mod was it was because I saw that I could just like make people mods or give them titles. So I wanted to give her some arbitrary title to make her special. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I think this is my the first time she's actually been in a stream for like an extended period of time. She usually just like stops in quick and then has other shit to do. That or she just sits here silently and I haven't noticed. Which is possible, I am pretty oblivious. I was in special ed for a reason. For, okay, in special ed for a lot of reasons, but one of them is my lack of 
understanding and perceiving social cues. <laughs> My lack of noticing basic shit. Oh shit. You have acquired two entire Butterfree. Impressive, my friend. Alright. Can I get lucky? Damn. <laughs> the answer is no. Shit. Get got, me. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna Marnie quick. Giving you an extra card, which is might be really stupid, but I really need to get more shit set up. Really bad. Haha! -ha! Okay. Goodbye, my lovely fiance. Thank you for tuning in and modding my stream. And by modding my stream, I mean roasting me aggressively the entirety of the time. <laughs> I still love you, though. Rest in peace, Butterfree. Rest in peace. I knew you well. You were a good Samaritan. You did me good. It's time for you to rest in peace. Alright. Right before our, uh, our rematch, though, I'm gonna grab another beer, which will take me literally 15 seconds, because I live in a one-bedroom apartment, so it is literally a few-second sprint as I stumble through my abode. Rest in peace, Butterfree friend. Rest in peace. Again, double rest in peace. You get two tombstones, because you're fucking you goddamn humongous. Fucking moth or ass, fucking ass. Alright. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn, usually get luckier than this. I mean, I guess that is a huge dilemma when the vast majority of my deck is very coin flip based. There we go. You do have an air balloon though, so you're gonna you're gonna get right out of this anyway. Why do you have air balloon on you? You have free retreat anyway. Why do you have air balloon on them right now? Is it just because it was in your hand anyway, so you had no reason not to play it? I mean, that makes sense. At this stage in the game, you're set up enough to where you don't really need it for other Pokemon. <laughs> Come on, coin flip guys! Hell yeah! Alright, what? what? Could've sworn that got heads. Could've sworn that got heads. Huh. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Butter freeze, bu 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 butter freeze. <laughs> this must be a weird thing for people to watch. 
Because this is just two huge ass moths just beating the shit out of each other. It's a weird, that's a weird activity. That is, that's not a normal thing, man. That's not normal. Ah, hoot. Mines are our do do mine. I, I don't know what that means. I, I don't. I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't. Alright. I apparently don't have uh, another V Max in my deck. So I think that means I am this thing called fucked. Rip. Yeah, you, you at this point you win because you literally all you have to do is boss's orders one of my weak ass fucking Appletons and you win. Good game though, dude. Good game. Good game indeed. This actually was a little more even than I thought. I thought with how much you were fucking hyping up, yeah, I, I, I legit thought with how much you were fucking hyping up your fucking butterfree deck, I thought you would have just wiped the floor with me. Like, I would have started the game, you just fucking would have kicked my ass, and I wouldn't have even gotten a prize, so this is, this is more even ski than I predicted. Rip. Rip that energy. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking turbo patch power. Oh dear. Did, did you accidentally forget that turbo patch only works on basics? I do that sometimes. I've definitely... <laughs> Literally same though. I've legit done that same fucking thing before. Legit done that exact same thing. Get this boy some food! Come on, coin flip gods! Coin flip gods! Damn it! God's not on my side right now, at least. Did I forget to attack? I totally forgot to attack. Holy shit. I am literally fucking stupid. All right. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, Appleton. Come on, Apple boy. God damn it. This game is so goddamn close. <laughs> it's not ready. Hook. Who? Shit. Fucking great game, my dude. Holy shit. Fucking hell. That could have gone legit either fucking way. That was so fucking close. If you did not fucking flip tails there, you would have fucking won. Holy shit. What do you mean not fair? Bruh, come on, that was a good game. Come on, dude, that was a good game. We both flipped a lot of heads, we both flipped a lot of fucking tails, and it could have gone either way. Come on, that was a good game, that was a good game. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a beer ski real quick. Take me 15 seconds, and then we can have a rematch, okay, dude? All right, grand return. Hey, Night Wolf, how you doing? What do you mean no beer for me? I just grabbed a beer. What? what why is the ch challenge cancel again? What the fuck? Is, is it because I said I grabbed a beer? All right, here it is again. All right. I hit accept, right? Did I accidentally hit cancel too? Change the screen. That probably would help, wouldn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm gonna open this delightful beverage. I'm drinking a dead guy ale rogue. Oh, you declined my challenge. Alright. Well then, sadness beers then. Why did you not accept my challenge, my friend? Is it because I was using this one? Did you want a different one? Oh, it's lagging. Okay. Okay. It's weird. I don't know why it's lagging. I usually don't have many lag issues. Oh, and you crashed. Oh, shit. That used to happen to me when I was playing on my fucking uh, uh, laptop a lot. Uh, before I got this PC, I was playing on my laptop a lot and it had uh, crashing issues. Yeah, the, it just automatically cancelled itself, dude. You'll send it? Okay, cool. I'll just chill here. Do you have any preference in deck I use for the next one? Uh, Fisting Train World Tour, my Eternus deck, is the one I put the most work into. That one I feel is pretty decent. 
Fearsome Rectangles is like a Stone Journer deck. It's very okay. I think I overestimated how good in DDV would be for that deck. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of okay. This is my first real attempt at making like a Mad Party deck. Uh, it's definitely, def definitely needs to be tweaked a lot more. And then I got my, uh, 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 Vika Volt. I'll just go Vika Volt because I haven't used that much on the stream yet. Because I mostly play by Eternatus, because that's like, one, because that's just the best deck I have, and the one that, like, functions the best, and turned out the best, and that I have, I mean, most confident in my build of. But also, because Eternatus was a fucking pain in the ass to make that fucking deck. So, as opposed to this Vikavolt deck, which I kind of just got really easy. Because I already had a lot of Picarom and a lot of different shit for electric decks anyway. And I just kind of just got a lot of Vika Volt from booster packs. I was like, why the fuck wouldn't I play it? You know? It was definitely not the greatest version of this deck. But I say that about most decks I make. I think... I think it might be just simple to say that I am maybe not the single greatest person at consistently building amazing decks. I think that might be fair to say. OMG, what? What? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, Bresky? Is it my Pinchurchin? He looks cute. He's a cute boy. Come on. What's wrong, Pinchurchin? Oh, you, uh, oh, you also have Vikable deck? Alright, alright, here. Oh, you missed the day where I used to play every day? I go in and out, Nightwolf. Like, when uh, Team Up first came out, when that set came out, I was, like, obsessively playing. And then, uh, uh, with Unified Minds, I was playing a shit ton. When Cosmic Eclipse came out, I felt a little, uh, I was kind of playing a bit less. And I, I, go, I go up and down with it. Uh, I think I first played it. When Heart Gold and Soul Silver was like a thing, but at that point I was fucking, you know, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing <laughs> in terms of making a deck. I just like put in like, ah, oh, this Pokemon is cool, it's gonna be the best. I still kind of do that sometimes. I definitely build some decks that are less good because I'm like, but I like this Pokemon, so I want to put them in. Did you just, like, get burnt out, Nightwolf? Is that it? Because I can feel that. I feel that. If so. You're playing Expanded Dark Ride X? Ah, I see. See, I usually always have played Standard. I played Expanded. Uh. Ah, oh, Life Caught Up. Okay, I get that. I get that. Yeah, it's... I try to play when I can. I mean, my situation is, like, I work a lot, like, I work a lot, but in terms of actual, uh, just, I, I, I work a lot, but I have a lot of time to myself while I'm at home, seeing my fiancé kind of shows up mostly on the weekends. Oh, you're doing laundry! Have some fun fucking laundry adventures! You fucking do that laundry! Oh, play? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Dum dum. All right. I don't know. If that's a good way to make me play. I think if you call me dumb, I might just like not want to play. I think that's kind of how that works. I'm still mad that my avatar can't have my hair. Why do I play uh, Crobat and Vikavolt? Well, you see. 
for one to draw cards, but also because I have five crowbats. So I just shove them aggressively into every open orifice. Just every, every orifice. Every, every orifice that is even slightly ajar. I shove crowbats in. Uh, I mean, I I'm willing to trade it because I have, I have five crowbats. So I'm looking, I am planning to trade my fifth one for sure. Uh, do you have any shit from, uh, uh, the new mini set, uh, Champion's Path? You need one? Uh, do you have any? Like, are you still trying to get, like, your first one? Oh, shit. I has no packs. Rest in peace. Uh, I got one Crobat. I actually no, I got two crowbats, I believe, from Pax. I either got, I think it was two from Pax, but uh, the other three I got from this dude on eBay I found, who I fucking bought them from. But yeah, I just kind of play crowbat and a lot of things just to draw, you know, because I have them so. Might as well have an extra thing to draw if I have room in the deck. <laughs> but it might not be the best decision. Damn, not here. I mean, I did buy that Crobat from the dude on eBay so I can, like, save it and then trade it for cards from the new set. Like, that's, like, the whole reason I, like, bought it. Because I already had two Crobat. So I bought three Crobats, so I would have a fifth one so I can save that one to trade it for, uh, uh, good shit from, uh, whatever upcoming set would come about. I mean, here, I mean, we can fucking, like, I'm sure you have, like, something that I could fucking, I probably don't have that I could fucking trade you for it. Then again, that being said, you have kind of been, like, roasting me half this fucking stream. <laughs> You did say his to my fiance. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's why I play Pinchurchin. <laughs> because Pinchurchin can be surprisingly dickish. You hate your Vikavolt DB deck? I'm sorry, dude. I can show you what I have for mine. I mean mine isn't really the best build of it. Like, if you really want the best build of it, I would say just look at uh, Limitless TCG. So then you can look at deck lists from people who have actually placed in tournaments. Definitely never copy my deck lists, because they're usually not that good. But, like, this is what I'm rocking for it. If you're curious. Bruh. <laughs> I literally... Out of my own pocket, paid money to a man for this crowbat so I could trade this crowbat for new cards that I'd have trouble getting in the new set. Like, if you have, like, I'll trade you for something for it, but I really didn't, like, I didn't spend money out of my wallet to get this crowbat to give it away. Like, if I had a bunch of extra, I just got in packs, like, maybe a little different, but this is, like, 
straight up out of my own wallet. I paid a dude on eBay for a Crobat. I can tell you the dude I bought the Crobat from. And you could get a Crobat from him. Or you can trade me for said Crobat. And because you seem like a pretty cool dude, I probably, like, would be willing to at least trade for stuff I probably wouldn't normally be willing to trade for. But I, I, I really don't want to just... I don't really feel super comfortable, like, trading away a thing I paid six bucks to a dude on eBay for a few days ago. <laughs> I really don't feel good about just, like, giving that away. That's, like, that's money I spent. <laughs> I, re I really don't need a Charizard GX, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, broski. I'm sorry. If you have shit you need that I genuinely have extra of that I, like, I am not using for a purpose like Crobat V where it's genuinely a thing I paid money for so I could trade it, and then, like, sure. Uh, neither of those are cards I would, like, be able to really play. Like, Charizard GX, I mean, that saw some play in Mewtwo and Mew decks, and I had a copy of for that, but... As you can see by this list of decks I have, I haven't been playing Mewtwo GX in a while, because I don't even have it built anymore. I, I, don't, I don't understand the ho-ho. I, I go to my collection... And you could peek some of my shit. Hey! Well, see, here's the thing. Rainbow Rare ho -Oh is cool as shit, but I I'm more like a utility dude. I I'm more... I, I care more about, like, how, how much I'll actually be able to use and play the card. If it's Rainbow or Alternate Art, that's kind of extra for me. I really care more about just playability ah okay yeah back uh back with uh I, I used to play expand i ran to it all the fucking time but i'm, I'm sorry camper of death i'm sorry uh if you're curious what you miss uh what you missed night wolf um we had a mirror match with vikavolt v and um, since then, Camper of Death has been obnoxiously trying to get me to give them a Crobat V. <laughs> Is what has been happening. Okay, I'm thinking I'm just going to go back to... I'm thinking I'm just going to go back to doing verses, my dude. It was a lot of fun, Camper of Death. I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna go back to doing verses. It's getting a little weird. This is starting, it's starting to feel a little, little, little weird. With uh, I feel like the stream is turning into me just repeating shit about whether or not I want to give you a fucking Crobat V. Yeah, I am always weird. But I don't like how the entire live stream is slowly getting turned into, into fucking me saying I don't want to give you a Crobat V and why. So I'm just going to go back to doing verses. It was fun though, dude. It's fun. Indeed, I am a weird dude. My fiance would agree with you if she's still in the chat. A little sus? Yeah, it is, it is a little sus. Indeed it is. Uh. This makes me a tad bit uncomfortable. Just went a little, little more than what I was comfortable dealing with. So I'm just gonna... Just gonna say no in that case. It was like a little open to it, but it just it's just kinda of bugging me now. If 
But uh, thank you for rejoining, Nightwolf. Uh, originally, I didn't plan to uh, uh, stream this long. I'm streaming until my friend Keegan, uh, who I have a game night with, is um, ready for us to play Ark. So, when I, however long, honestly, it's gone a little longer than I thought, so we'll see. But, uh, after this stream, I'll probably stream, I'll probably do the same deal tomorrow, where I'll stream until, I'll try to fit a little short stream in, and then I'll probably stream Thursday. I'm trying to get as many, like, streams I can in when I have free time, even if they're short. Cause I'm I'm really new to streaming on Twitch, so I kind of feel like I need to kind of do it often, you know, so people know like, ah, oh, this this dude is, this dude is legit actually like around and doing this, you know. All right, here we go. This is going pretty well actually right now. Ah, uh, hoots. What should I do here? Mm. No, I don't want to discard any of that. I'm just going to do the 30 damage. Is an entire damage. It's been a little bit since I fought a Dragapult deck. Ah, well, rest in peace. It was probably a bad idea to really commit to a Spear Tomb on the bench with a deck that literally drops damage counters. That was a little stupid. That was my that's my bad for that. I don't. Do I have one in my hand yet? I don't. All right. Yeah. Really should not go Spear Tomb against this. Uh, then again, I mean, I don't really have a lot of other... <coughs> oh, sorry about that sneeze. Mm, shoot. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sorry I'm not talking as much as usual, I'm just trying to uh, figure out what the best move here is. I really don't want to get another 130 damage. I guess I'll boss his orders out to Giratina. Hope you can't really do dick about it. Just hope I get lucky here. Uh, I'll switch into... Yeah, I'll switch into my Zigzagoon. Just in case he does get back in the active, he doesn't get more damage on my turn. Does I mean he will right either way because he does bench damage? But at least it won't be as much damage on my turn as V-Sing. I haven't done what's set up yet. Alright. Hello, Dimene. Hello. The man I am fighting, I just realized, is named Atomic Penguin. That name is delightful, you beautiful soul. Well, shit. Well, shit. I see. My efforts were in vain. Ah, th okay, this guy wins, honestly. Like, even if I make some miraculous comeback and get lucky, this guy played the better fucking game. So he deserves to win now. Like, fucking hell. He's fucking... Denied all of my energy. He has stopped all my attempts to stall. He's been fucking with my setup. This guy is fucking on point. Fucking Atomic Penguin is the man. Okay. Holy shit. I was not ready to stand up to the fucking Goliath that is Atomic Penguin. Clearly. 
Oh, shit, I don't even know what to do at this point now. Like, fuck. Marnie, because I can't really afford to throw three, two other professors' research away. It's not a thing I'm comfortable doing. Alright, get you on the bench. Which I already said how I don't really like doing that, but I need more Pokemon on the bench to do damage. Get a Crobat for next turn. If I build Spite, though, it's an easy one hit kill, so I just won't. Ah, shit. Yeah, I just lose this game. I think I don't think I have any good way out of this. I think he, I just got really outplayed at the beginning. He's set up way before me. He just fucking wins. I was fucking coming in this shit half paying attention, and this man's fucking <gasps> guns ablaze and all cylinders fucking rolling. This man is ready. He is primed. I'm getting my ass kicked like I deserved. Holy shit. Oh, uh, yeah, holy a uh, fuck! How many crushing hammers can you get heads on? He has got heads on every one. Fucking shit! No, you get you get the fucking win. Shit! Fucking well played, man. Lord have mercy on my soul. Alright. It's been a fun stream, my friends. It's been a fun stream. It's been a hectic stream as well. It's been a lot of things. <laughs> but we are almost to getting these two booster packs, which will be sweet. I have I have drank multiple beers. I have argued with lovely j with lovely campers over crobats. I have been roasted. I have been called out by my own fiance. This stream is is really been a roller coaster of emotions for me, more so than the fucking life story stream last time. <laughs> I appreciate all of you lovely people who have who have stopped by. I appreciate you immensely. Even if it's for a little while, even if it's to roast me, and even if it's to beg for crowbats, I really appreciate anybody who's, who stops by. Hell yeah, extra card, boys. That doesn't really help me right now. But whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna get you because I want to set you up really quick. Because if you're playing, uh, if you're playing Charizard, I would really like to have a basic attacker or Shurzies. Either it's your internet or what? Or I'm dropping frames? Um. Let me see. Uh, let me open up the stream on my phone so I can see. Because I shouldn't be dropping frames right now. Especially not for for PTCGO. But... Let me open up the stream on my end. It's not doing it now? Alright. That's weird. I don't know why I would have. I don't know why I would have been dropping frames for a little bit. I, I might have been though. Might have been on my end. I don't know why that happened, but who knows? Maybe I like went through a fucking vortex or some shit. Fucking spatial interference. 
the fucking doctor was fucking tartarusing on by at that exact second. Just for a bit. I hope it wasn't too bad, man. I'm sorry. If it was on my end, I'm sorry I didn't notice. And, uh, fix it. Or do something about it. Still a tad bit new to this. Trying to make it fun and uh, enjoyable and at least decent quality. Okay, don't count out your net. Okay, okay. I mean, tell me if it does drop again anyway. Uh, and we'll, you know, so I can keep track of it and we'll see. Because I also don't want to completely discredit it either, because it could be something stupid on my end. I could have fucked up somehow, so. Alright, get our Crobat, draw more cards. Alright. Just do some damage before you can get out your goddamn Tarzan. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate you. You lovely human, you. You know, this beer is good. That I got. I don't know if I'm gonna get it again, though. Like... It's good enough that I got it and I am content with the purchase, but I don't know if I like it more than other beers I would normally buy. I don't like it as much as any of BrewDog's IPAs, and I definitely don't like it as much as Guinness. And those are like my two go-tos. So... I feel this- I feel like this may be the only- well, once- once I finish off all- all these ones I get, probs no more streams of this boy. It is a really bitter beer. Like, really bitter. Like, this is like... I, I want to say it's like the black coffee of beers, because that makes it sound like a stout, and this isn't a stout. But... Hey! It looks like I got another viewer, and I didn't notice. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Welcome to my, uh... uh fruitless and we escapism into computerized media. Building Spite! That's such a kick-ass fucking name for an ability. Like, that's just cool. Okay, 369, yeah, that's killing you. I need another one, though. If I do that, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's only 5? That's not really worth it, though. I don't wanna- I don't wanna- I don't wanna Marnie, because that gives them more cards. I like that Gangar. <laughs> uh, hold on, hiding energy. Gangar. Did you mean the Spiritomb? Oh, you're just. Oh, you mean you're a huge fan of Dark types? Yeah, Dark types are really cool. There's a lot of really nice ones. Gangar is really cool. Gangar is actually uh, my friend Keegan's favorite Pokemon, who I will be playing games with later. Whenever he is ready for such a activity. Ba -ba 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 -bitch! Hell yeah. Yeah, dark types are cool. I like a lot of... I don't know, because I, I have a lot of different Pokemon in every type that I love a lot. I don't know if I have a favorite type, really. Because conceptually, Fairy is probably... Ah, uh, Dark Rise. I mean, that makes sense. You said earlier that you played uh, Dark Rise decks for a long time. There's a few people who I've noticed, like when they play a deck a lot, they get really attached to that Pokemon. Uh. Oh, okay. So he's your favorite before that. Okay. You see, I'm in the pi uh, the pickle where my favorite Pokemon is Shroomish, because uh, when I was little, and I said this on last stream, but I'll say it again really quick, uh, because you weren't here last stream. Um, Shroomish is my favorite Pokemon because when I was a wee lad playing Pokemon Emerald, I had a Ralts and my cousin Tap, this big tall trans woman that I buy weed from, uh, they really, really wanted that Ralts. And I said, all right, I'll trade it to you for a Shroomish, but not one mere Shroomish, mind you. I will trade it to you 
four, thirty-seven shroomish. And I swear to fucking god, the second I told them that, the second I told them they would need that many shroomish, and they agreed, that poor lady did not run into another shroomish for weeks. <laughs> they never got that Ralts. They never did. <laughs> and uh, because of that memory, and me like, yelling about shroomish at them, to antagonize them, I got a strong attachment to the Pokemon. And also they're just adorable and grumpy, and they make me happy. And it makes me want to give them food. Because I see cute grumpy things and I'm like, oh, they need food. <laughs> there is so many stories of me just antagonizing my cousin Tap. That I question if I'm really the good person in all of this sometimes. Because in my head, in my memories, in my heart of hearts, when I think about my adventures with Tap, I always remember my cousin Tap as kind of being the dick between the two of us. But, uh, when I tell stories, it really sounds like I'm the asshole one. So, oh my god, I have so many Marnie. What the fuck? I mean, I guess I'll Marnie. Because I just don't like this hand. <laughs> I really seem like the dick one between the two of us whenever I tell a goddamn story. There you go. Now that I got 140 on you, you don't want to kill my spirit tomb because then you get killed. Easy. By this guy. I should have just retreated and killed them with Eternatus. That's a fuck up. But maybe this person doesn't realize I fucked up and they just kill spirit tomb and let me let me kill them with that. Maybe. Maybe I'm lucky and they don't realize I fucked up and they get overconfident. But uh yeah, like there's one time uh, my cousin Tap and I, when we were wee lads, were trick-or-treating. Um, for context, this story makes more sense. Now that I download this game again. I mean, I mean do it. The uh, Sword and Shield meta is a lot of fun. <laughs> Lol in process. Okay, well, my cousin Tap and I were wee lads. And for context, we were poor at this point in time. We were a poor family. Uh... They kind of adopted me, sort of. Their aunt and uncle. Or, or, well, Tap's parents, my aunt and uncle, kind of took me in. Out of pity. This poor wee, wee sad boy. And they felt bad. And, um, essentially what happened, you see. Uh, let me turbo patch quick before I forget. Because I will forget, because you see I am fucking stupid. Like, clinically. I am clinically stupid. I am so stupid that I went to the doctor's office and they'll be like, Yeah, bro, you you hella dumb. You, 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 in fact, so dumb, you get a legit diagnosis and medication for how dumb you are. Oh, yeah, the Sword and Shield meta is it, so fun. I think it's a really good meta. I think the way... I, I, it's, it's just really fun. Such a fun time. But anyway, Cousin Tap and I were wee lads trick-or-treating back in good old Minnesota. We were poor, you know. And uh, I don't remember what we were dressed as at the time. But um, essentially, you know, we're strolling down the street. You know, we got some candy. Having a good old jolly time. Um, won't say all what we were doing, but we saw this... This lovely house, this this rich dude house, this fucking McMansion, right? This fucking rich jack-off, right? And, uh, you know, we we're, like, poor and we we're pretty bitter about being poor. We're all whiny, right? So we're like, yeah, it's fucking, yeah, it's fucking bastard, it's McMansion. Fucking, we poor. You know, we're fucking upset about it, right? So we fucking walk by. This motherfucker had a sign... They're too lazy to, like, actually be out there and watch the bull. They just, they just, like, had a fucking... This heavy, fucking, like, stone-like bull out there of candy. And it's like, yeah, just take one. Don't be a dick, basically, is what it said. And, uh, me and my cousin Tap. Um, this is, this is not a good thing. There's not any defense of this sort of action. But me and my cousin Tap, we were kind of dicks. <laughs> is the moral of this story. The, ooh, I win. Grand Champion. But, uh, we were kind of dicks, and we are kind of bitter. And, uh, we were looking at it, and we are like, Hey, this rich-ass motherfucker! 
Birds being too lazy to even watch their bull. They're too lazy to be out here to fucking hand their fat asses candy. Even though we're too old to be trick-or-treating anyway. So we're just like, fuck this rich-ass fucking bourgeois fat cat. Fuck this guy. This fucking rich-ass motherfucker. This rich ass piece of shit motherfucker we're like hyping ourselves up right and my cousin taps like you know what let's fucking steal this bull i'm just like i mean i'm not gonna steal it and get blamed for it but i'm not gonna stop you from stealing it wink wink and then he fu she fucking just like grabs the bull we just steal the fucking bull of candy and we just fucking leave and <laughs> but the bull was like heavy as shit this is like a heavy ass stone bull so eventually taps like fuck this bull and just like dumps the, the, the candy in the bag grabs the bull and chucks it into a ravine <laughs> and that that's not the funny part though right that's just us being dicks like, we were just dicks. Terrible thing. Very sorry to that poor gentleman we stole a bull from that one time. Uh, wasn't my idea, but I didn't really do much to stop it. May have encouraged it. Maybe. Anyway, but so next year, we go back to this house, and this motherfucker does the same shit, except it's a slightly less expensive bull outside again. And at this point, we're like, oh shit, this guy doesn't even give a shit. This rich ass motherfucker, this rich ass fucking ass, bourgeois ass, capitalist ass, fucking fat cat is sitting here. We stole his goddamn bull and chucked it in a river. And this motherfucker's like, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing again this year because I don't give a shit. So we're like, you know what? This guy doesn't care, so why should we care? If if he doesn't give a shit that we stole his bull last year and just put a slightly cheaper one out, let's fucking do it again! Fuck this guy! We felt offended! We're like, how dare this guy fucking challenge us like this? So we fucking dumped that fucking candy in there, Tap stole the fucking bull again, and they fucking kept it. We took it to the fucking house, because this one was a little cheaper, it was less heavy, right? We kept that fucking bull. A year passes. This year... This motherfucker does the shit again! Except this time, he doesn't even have a bull. This motherfucker puts out a strainer. But we're poor. So this cheap-ass strainer, we're looking at like this, and we're like, man, that's a nice strainer. We could use a strainer. So fuck this rich-ass, fat cat-ass, bourgeois-ass, fucking capitalist prick. Fucking mocking us with his fancy fucking plastic strainers. So we fucking, best trainer I ever had came from that man. Uh, the next year, by the way, uh, he just had a fucking, uh, cheap disposable plastic Halloween bowl. And, uh, uh, yeah, then after that, I didn't go trick-or-treating anymore. <laughs> A dick move! Don't do that! That's what bad people do! I wouldn't do that now, because I'm a grown adult who has to face consequences and has a fiancé and a life to take care of. But... It made a good story! So maybe it was all worth it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it was a good thing to rob this man. But I am saying, clearly, this man didn't give a fuck that we were robbing him. <laughs> clearly, this I, this man in his McMansion was like, I have better shit to care about than some fucking dumbass kids stealing my fucking bull. You know, he didn't give a fuck. I mean, at that point, then who really wins? This guy does, because he's, he, 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 he fucking, we fucking took his shit and he still had more than us. So he wins in the end. Whoever this gentleman was in his McMansion back in Minnesota. <laughs> oh, Christ. What a time. I just, I just admitted to being an accomplice in theft on a live stream. That's what I did today. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> All right. After this game, I'm prob's gonna be ending it. My dude, Keekster, the Keekmeister, Big Papa K Dizzle, K Dog, my big sexy bearded man mountain, my eternal sunset, my friend Keegan, says he will be ready. Sorry about that burp. Well, says he will be ready for game night at 7. It is currently 6.56, my time specifically. So, you know, I'll uh, be switching over to that. I said this would be a short stream, but this is actually slightly longer than like most of the streams on this channel, so that's a little funny. But uh, I appreciate you, Nightwolf. Uh, I hope I end this in a win. It's looking pretty good for me right now. 
because this guy's taking a tad bit to get set up. Good old Boris over here. Uh, so I really hope you're enjoying this time together. I plan to stream as often as I can during the week. EST, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the good old Michigan time zone. Uh... I was born in Nuevo, California, then I moved to Chicago, Oklahoma, then I moved to Albany, Minnesota, and then I moved to here. And, uh, here. I'm, uh, EST time. Hell yeah, that's that's lucky as shit that I got that a turn to this VMAX right here, right now. That is lucky as shit. I am a lucky clam right here. I'm a lucky boy. And now I'm about to go hog wild on this hamster ass. <laughs> that's a quote that's documented in internet history now. <laughs> All right, hell yeah. And even if you get a uh, welder and an attachment, you can hit me for 230. And then I kill you. So, you know, this is looking pretty good for me right now. I'm getting this boy slowly built up. Oh, uh, you do got a welder. Do you have the energy in your hand, though? Oh, you do. So you can hit me for 230. But that's not enough, broski. Because next turn, I'm killing your ass. So that's not enough. So what do you got for me? Oh, you got a Mewtwo and Mew. I wasn't expecting you to play Mewtwo and Mew in this deck. Your deck is a little all over the place. To be honest. But, uh... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're going to make a comeback. And wh what? You're also playing Wimpod. What is your deck, broski? What is your deck? I mean, I guess it must just be a Mewtwo and Mew deck. And he just started with the Pokemon in the wrong order. This feels really awkward, though. I don't know. I'm gonna discard a Marnie so I can get a uh, VMAX out. Cause I really want to have one of you set up. Oh, that is a Crobat. I have a lot of Crobat. <laughs> a lot. And dude was mad at me earlier for having a bunch of Crobat. I, I, <laughs> hey, ending on a win. I mean, Crobat looks like Gengar. They're both purple. They both have pointy ears. Their bodies are both ball kind of shaped. I, I, I get it. I get it. I, 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 I can see how if you're not like really looking at it, if you just like glance at it, you can see it's a Gengar. I think you have a decent excuse. But it is officially seven exact, which means it's time for Keegs and me to play Ark and fucking round up some dinos. I'm glad I got to end the stream on a win. I'm glad I got to meet some cool people like Nightwolf, like Camper of Death, and uh, uh, Sem who, all, who stopped in and roasted me at the beginning of it. Thank all of you for tuning by. I'm going to mute the desktop audio. I'm going to play the outro, and all of you have a dandy day. Hey, King of Games champion, Disco Blood Party here, telling you thank you for watching my video. I hope it was delightful. I hope you're not busting down my door with a rifle about to shoot my head off or some cringy thing I've released into the interwebs. Either way, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time my particular section of the realm crosses over to yours. Bye, Ski.